Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing the virtual machine template versioning feature in vSphere 7.0. In the past it's been a bit difficult to manage versions for virtual machine templates uh, but thanks to vSphere 7.0 it's much easier now. Uh, one of the first things we need to know though is that we must have a content library in place to store the versioning information. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and create a content library now. Uh, so you just log into your vSphere client, go to menu and uh, scroll down to content libraries. Once you've done that, just hit the create button and give one a name. And uh, in this environment here, I'm not going to do any any publishing or any subscriptions. So I'll just leave those as default and go for next. I'm going to store this on one of my data stores and just going to finish there to create that content library. Now once that's complete we can just go back to our uh, virtual machine and uh, templates view. Now you can see here that I've already created a templates folder to store my templates into and that I also have a, a demo virtual machine here which we're going to use to uh, create our templates and look at the versioning feature as well from. So the first thing here is um, we need to select this demo and rather than uh, use the normal template and option we're simply going to clone this virtual machine as a template but into the library. Uh, so we give it a quick a quick name here. So I'm going to call it demo template. And I'm just going to give it a, a location there. And then the uh, location of the content library. So we might have more than one content library so we would select the relevant one there. And then I just simply select a, a cluster or a host that I want to store this template onto and a data store to store the actual uh, the template machine to. And just check everything's good on the review tab. Okay, but well once that's complete, we have this demo template template, if you like. And I'm just going to move it into my templates folder to make it easier to visualize what's going on. Now, selecting the template and going to the summary tab shows us this new versioning view, which is uh, which is what's now new in v in vSphere 7.0. And we can see here that this is the first version. And there's no notes available because it's the first one that we've just created. But what's interesting is that rather than right clicking this and cloning this out to a virtual machine or whatnot, we can simply click this checkout VM from this template option here. And then just give it a uh, location. So I'm going to store it in my, actually, I won't store it in my templates, I'm going to store it in my cluster here. And on that uh, particular host, finish. And now we've created a new virtual machine called Demo2 from that template. Now what's uh, even more interesting here is we can start to see this versioning building up. So it tells us that we've checked out a virtual machine called Demo2. Now we can make some changes to this. So for example, if we were just to quickly edit the settings here and just change the number of CPUs on the VM to three, then what we can do is we can check in this VM back to the template so here it is, added one vCPU, check it in. And once that's complete, we can go to the, the new template, which again, I will just drag into my templates folder to keep everything together. If we select it, it tells us that we have the original demo template. Uh, and then we have uh, the second demo template, which is on a new version. And uh, the notes here that we assigned to it before, and we can of course just check this out as we're used to doing um, but more importantly we can also revert back to a previous version or delete older versions etc so that's a nice way to keep track of versions of templates and to uh, check them in and check them out directly into the vSphere HTML5 client uh, using the content library which is a recommended place to store templates okay so I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching